Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is February 17th, and we are going to take a look at Palantir stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. This is pretty disappointing to say the least. Palantir was slowly going up and up and up and getting close to 1442. We never reached it. We had the earnings call today, but this morning at 8 o'clock. Palantir had a little bit more revenues than uh, what was expected. 432 million in revenues in Q4 compared to the estimate at 417. So this is good. But in terms of the earnings, then uh, there's a loss of 0.02 per share. I guess people did not like that. But it's not about the facts, I mean, it's about the interpretations of the facts. So people have uh, interpreted that as bad even though the company is really growing and uh, having more cash flow and everything. But I guess this is not what people wanted. So we closed down $2.20 at 15.75% at 11.72. Postmarket, we are up $0.04. Cents. So let's look at what we have here on the chart. So we have a big gap down here. Huh? Based on yesterday, the low of yesterday was 13.66 and the high of today was 12.78. So we have a gap down and uh, red candle, look at the volume here, big volume. People are dumping this. And uh, what is more important, I think, or what is also important is that we broke uh, below 11.94. So we stayed above 11.94 since uh, we have been staying above uh, 11.94 since uh, January 24th. Maybe I'm just going to go do this little precise thing. So maybe we are reaching exactly where we were here at the low on January 24. So the low of January 24 was 11.75 and the low of today is 11.70. So we went even a little bit lower. With a difference of five cents, I don't think that's really significant. So maybe we are going to hold this uh, double support. So let me just adjust this a little bit. So maybe we are going to hold this uh, double support, but it's not looking very good. I'm going to tell you right now. Let's go see the one hour chart. So basically we get down on the first hour on big volume. Then there was a little bit of a pullback here. And then the stock went straight down, even accelerating for the last two hours of the day. The volume was even accelerating. Nothing to see here. Stochastic, uh, well, stochastic stick was over 62 days ago. So this was really interesting and this was encouraging, but we have lost that. We still have the MACD crossover bullish. So MACD still has not considered this a bad move because MACD is basically a moving average of 12 and 26 days. So uh, it's going to take time maybe to be affected by this. RSI just took a plunge and uh, DMI also, the bearishness in DMI increased a lot. So all in all, very disappointing. I think Paladir is not really well understood. I think that Alex Carp, I watched the um, earnings call this morning. So Alex Carp. He's very smart, very intelligent. He gave a lot of really interesting nuggets about how he's running the company, how he's working on the product. So this was really interesting, but I think this went over the head of the financial analysts. Most of these people don't really understand uh, anything else but numbers. So when they see a, a loss, they get crazy. They don't all try to understand why. And a company that is in growth, yes, it won't make as much profit as an established company that has been selling widgets for the last 30 years. So this is not the same thing. This is a growth stock. So you have to look at the possibilities. You have to look at their product and how they are deploying it and how they are improving it. 
And they were talking about the fact that they seem to be creating a platform so that the developers of their client can come in and customize a little bit their uh, product because they got some pushback from the developers at their clients that kind of were against this big tool. So I can understand a little bit because if these clients have big data projects and everything, I'm sure that they don't like to see this uh, third party come in. But so I think that this move by Palantir to consider their uh, product more of a platform. So that might get the developers on board. So these are all very smart things, but it's going to take a while until it's going to trickle down to the bottom line. And uh, we are in this climate where the companies need to post quarterly results. Even that concept is a little bit weird for a growth uh, stock. So anyway. This is why we still need to rely on technical analysis because the stock never crossed 1443, which was a resistance. The buy signal was not received. The buy signal was if the stock crosses 1442, it's the time to get in. And we did not uh, get the buy signal. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. You can click on my trading view affiliate link in the description below. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.